The internet is buzzing about the impressive Tesla Powerwall 3, and rightfully so. It's a standout product. However, it's not universally perfect. Let's break down what makes the Powerwall 3 exceptional and where it feels short. Stay tuned, find out why the Tesla Powerwall 3 might not be the right fit for everyone. Now, Tesla's batteries were the gold standard when they launched the first Tesla Powerwall back in 2015. But over time, N-Phase, Franklin, and Solar Edge have caught up, and now the N-Phase 5P has picked up the MVP mantle, and it's king. But Tesla has switched gear now, and with the Powerwall 3, it's taken the lead. So what exactly has Tesla done with its newest Powerwall 3? Number one, simplicity. Traditional battery installations are often complex, involving multiple components such as the battery, a controller, sub-panel, and sometimes even a main panel upgrade. Now, in a single move, Tesla has streamlined this process by eliminating the need for additional components like the controller, the sub-panel, or a main panel upgrade. Instead, they've introduced the backup switch a compact device that fits in the palm of your hand. It's akin to a feat of miniaturization magic. Thanks to this innovation, installation times for Tesla battery systems have been drastically reduced from four hours to just 20 minutes. This is a problem that the other battery manufacturers have not yet solved, but I'm sure they're gonna catch up now that Tesla has shown them the way. Next, power. It's proverbially the one battery to power them all. With just one Powerwall Plus, you can now power your entire home. From running a 5-ton central air conditioner to keeping a hot tub comfortable for six people during a power outage, it's got you covered. The Enphase 5P, the 15 kilowatt hour version, is the only other battery offering similar power capacity. Franklin, SolarEdge, and even the older Powerwall models are limited to just 5kW, while both Tesla and Enphase boast an impressive 11.5kW capacity, more than double their predecessor's power. Now, the Powerwall 3 is a DC coupled solution, which means it can't be integrated into an existing solar system. So, to get a new Powerwall 3, you'll need to purchase it alongside new solar panels. Tesla says they'll bring an AC power solution soon. Now, on top of solar panels, the Powerwall 3 now enables you to maximize your solar array. Previously, only N-Phase allowed this flexibility to install as much solar as you desired with their battery. Today, Tesla gives it to you. Traditionally, solar plus battery setups have, imp have imposed constraints on the size of the solar array. This limitation extends to older Tesla batteries as well. However, with the Powerwall 3, this restriction has been lifted. You can now officially install up to 20 kW of solar along with one Powerwall 3, a capacity larger than most solar installations. It's worth noting that exceeding 16 kW on the solar array may lead to significant clipping due to the inverter's limitations, curtailing the output for larger systems. So I say, stick to 16 kW or less. Now let's talk about the inverter within the Tesla Powerwall 3. This upgraded inverter boasts significant improvements. It serves as a single robust unit that efficiently converts DC to AC power from both the solar panels and the Tesla Powerwall 3 battery. These versatile inverters capable of handling multiple functions are known as hybrid inverters. There are others. While the Tesla hybrid inverter remains a string inverter, its recent redesign positions it to rival and sometimes outperform Enphase's microinverter. And how does it do that? By incorporating six MPPT maximum power point tracking inputs into the inverter. If that sounds complex, think of it as having six separate inverters. Each inverter is linked to a specific array or group of solar panels on your roof, ranging from two to 11 panels. This setup allows for optimization of performance based on orientation and shading of each panel array. Next, expandability. Currently, you can add up to four Tesla Powerwalls for a maximum capacity of 54 kilowatt hours. 
Tesla has also indicated that very soon each Powerwall will be able to support three additional batteries, dumb batteries with the same 13.5 kWh capacity. So total expandability will increase to 165 kWh. But that's coming. Next is resilience. Tesla Powerwall 3 can work in temperatures from minus 4 Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. It can even continue to operate in two feet of flood water. Stormwatch is standard and automatically prepares your battery for bad weather by topping up the charge of your battery. Tesla batteries can also participate in the Tesla virtual power plant network in states like California. Your Tesla battery would then supply energy to the grid when the grid requires emergency power. Next, affordability. Tesla has strategically priced the Tesla Powerwall 3 at a significant discount compared to its competitors. When combined with solar panels, the Tesla Powerwall 3 solution is estimated to be at least 20% cheaper, if not more, than all other solar plus battery combinations. With these compelling advantages, the Tesla Powerwall 3 stands out as a really attractive option. However, it's essential to consider potential drawbacks. Number one, the Tesla Powerwall 3 requires you to purchase a battery alongside solar panels, and this might not align with everyone's needs. In regions where power outages are rare, investing in a battery may not be a priority. For such situations, opting for a smaller battery like the Enphase 5P combined with a generator could be a more suitable alternative. Generators complement batteries very effectively, especially during power outages. Two, that wonderful backup switch may not be approved in all markets. If you're unable to utilize the feature, not only do you miss out on the benefits of a simpler, smaller installation, but the price advantage of the Tesla Powerwall 3 will diminish. It may become as costly as any other battery. Three, if you require a larger solar system, 16 kW or more, Tesla Powerwall 3 inverter may struggle. While the Powerwall 3 can simultaneously output 11.5 kW to the home and 5 kW to the battery, for larger homes with higher power demands, such as running multiple air conditioners, this solar generation may not cover the additional load. That would necessitate reliance on the grid, incurring substantial expenses. The alternative is purchasing two Powerwall 3 units or opting for an N-phase microinverter system, which can accommodate as many solar panels as needed and provide ample power to the home. Number four, the Tesla Powerwall 3 relies on a single inverter responsible for both solar panel generation and battery op operation. In the inverter of an inverter failure, all power sources are affected. Inverter failures, unfortunately, are not uncommon and could potentially pose a significant issue for Tesla. SolarEdge, for example, has experienced a series of inverter failures recently, and this is a risk inherent in string inverters. Number five, Tesla. By choosing the Tesla Powerwall 3, you're committing to their ecosystem. If for any reason Tesla discontinues support for their solar installations, your equipment becomes obsolete. In contrast, an N-phase microinverter-based system offers more flexibility and risk mitigation. In the event of a defective microinverter, you have the option to replace it with a different brand. While rewiring may be necessary, this approach safeguards a significant portion of your solar investment. So that Friends, is the scoop on the new Tesla Powerwall 3, both its strengths and its weaknesses. If you're interested in getting a quote, please feel free to reach out to me. I assist individuals in growing solar across the country. And if the Enphase 5P battery caught your attention, don't hesitate to check out my review.